Okay, so today I'm going to give you another series of workouts, three of them, and today we're going to work the chest and the shoulders. One of my favorite spots to work because summer will be coming back and I love nothing more than the sculpted shoulders. So this is also going to help this area here that people call the bra fat, I guess. Um, the excess here, it's going to work the muscle in there, help tone. So let's get started. So grab some weights and we're going to first work all three areas. This is going to work the back as well. So you're going to grab some weights, get into the position that I'm in, grab your weights. And we're going to do these 12 times. We've talked about repetitions before. I'm not going to cover it in this video. I do have other videos. You can reach out to me if you want to learn more about repetitions. It's the way that I use to maximize my workouts to get the most out of fatiguing that muscle. Okay, so you're basically just going to do rows. You're going to keep your back. Remember the line? If you've watched my videos before, remember the linear line. You don't want to be tucked down. You don't want to be arching. You want to be linear line and we're just going to pull up okay you're going to squeeze the muscles that you're working including the back pretend that you're pinching a pencil between the two shoulder blades there squeeze okay so let me demonstrate get your weights lean over and row your elbows shouldn't be pointing out to the sides, they should be pointing back to the back wall behind you. You're just going to pull, squeeze, lower down, squeeze, lower down, and you should be feeling it already. Squeeze, lower down. That's your first exercise. Okay, so next we're going to be doing chest flies. This is going to be really working this targeted zone here under your bra that little piece right here. So you're going to lay down for this one, two weights again. You're going to lay back, gently bring the weights up safely. And a chest fly, you're basically going to open up, let your elbows almost touch the ground and bring back up, squeezing the areas. You notice how I have a slight bend in my elbows? My arms aren't completely straight. Squeeze the chest. Squeeze the chest. Squeeze. Slowly when you're done, bring them down safely and come back up. So you're gonna wanna do that 12 times as well. Last but not least, you're not going to need any equipment for this exercise. It's going to be a body weighted exercise, but it is one of the best to work the back, the shoulders, the chest, um, the whole body really. It's a push up. We're going to do a push up. So you're going to get into plank. If you've watched my previous videos, go back and watch them. I'll give you the proper form of the plank. You want to squeeze your midsection. You don't want your back arched and you don't want it bent. Watch my form. Now, if you are a beginner, you can go from your knees, okay? If not, up onto your toes. Challenge yourself, try the toes. If you have to go down midway to your knees, go down midway. Back straight, squeeze your midsection, and push up. It's not a race, slow and controlled is where the magic happens. And there we have it. Three new moves to add together to create your full body workout. 